What is up, y'all? We're having another with Espo. I'm still Espo. It's Whiskey Wednesday, and we're fat. We're doing fat things. We're fat washing. Part two of the fat washing series. Uh, there's only two parts because this is going to be done pretty quick. I don't think we can do anything else with it. Um, yeah. Welcome back. Hi. Still me. Last week on Tuesday, Thursday, I don't remember. I think it was Thursday. We took about eight ounces of butter, shredded it, put it in a air airtight container with about eight ounces of whiskey. Uh, Buffalo Trace. Be exact. And that was supposed to mellow out the already very mellow Buffalo Trace. So take bourbon, add fat. The fat does whatever. It does that. I don't know. There's science. I just wanted to try it. it. Sounded like a real fun time. Plus, you get some bourbon infused butter, which great things there. Uh, not great on a brand muffin. Tried that, uh, but we'll go over those steps again. So, left it in, shook it around every now and again. Every few hours, I just kind of shook, shook the jar. Um, left it in for just over 24 hours. So I think it was about. I didn't get back to, from Toronto until about midnight ish. So I would have done it around then. Would have been, hmm, give or take, just, just under 30 hours. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty well. Took a lot of effort squeezing oh, squeezing all that butter and all the bourbon out of the butter through a cheesecloth. Again, very fun. And then taking that residual bourbon and straining it through, again, a different cheesecloth, or at least a washed one, and a fine mesh strainer. Double straining it through. Left that in the fridge. Uh, I left it in for, well until today, and then strained it again. There was a little bit of particulate. It was in this jar. There was a bunch of buttery bits at the bottom still. Cheesecloth picked up a lot of stuff. Thank you, Hero, this guy. I can pull right back down. So what we're gonna do is uh, just kind of test it out. See how it is, see how it changes, and I will do my best to see what else imparts. Smells phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, after squeezing all the bourbon out of the butter, uh, yeah, my hands smelled like maple butter. That's the only way I can put it. Maple butter was the was the smell I got. It smelled like candy, just deliciousness, um, fantastic things. Very happy with it. Um, little strong on a bran muffin. Again, I think pancakes would have been the way to go. But I digress. We're not really there yet. Uh, once I was done with the butter, again, kind of tried to form it up as best I could, and then squeezed it up in some saran wrap, tried to make a tube. It was like a con compound butter that way. Worked out pretty well. It's still pretty crumbly, I think just from the bourbon content because there's probably still a little bit in there. Don't really know. Uh, let's, why am I starting with this one? Let's start with our control. We're gonna pour a little bit because we're not trying to get too shmammered up. A Little bit of Buffalo Trace into our blank here. Pop you back on the shelf. Things go where they belong. You see, looks bourbony, <laughs> nice and amber. Very delicious looking color. Smells wonderful. Just smells wonderful. Smells like the butter. And now for our fat wash bourbon. You might be able to tell already it's a lot clearer, or a lot, not a lot clearer, a lot lighter and a lot less clear. Almost opaque. The fat is in there. We could probably run it through that cheesecloth about six more times and get uh, get some results here. I don't really care. It's drinkable already. And let's take a sniff. Unmistakably Buffalo Trace. I almost get some, hmm, what is that? Like some cherry, almost Dr. Pepper kind of notes. Let's see what we got out of this. The nose is subdued. It is very, very much mellower. It's barely there. I can barely smell it. I think all of the smell went into the butter, which again, very cool. Uh, and that's kind of what, what happened, what went down. Um, it'd be really cool to get an alcohol reading on this and see what the, the ABV is compared to what it was and see if there's actually any Got missing, essentially. <laughs> Got missing. Good lord. There's English. Talking. Talking real good. Oh, wow. That is like toffee. 
That's a little aggressive. I don't know if I can handle that. I think I need to strain this through cheesecloth a few more times. It might be a little too buttery yet. There is some butter notes on that. It is a lot more mellow. It's it's like English toffee. It's like a Werther's. That's hilarious. Let's get into the control. Water. Silly. Rinse around a little bit. See what we got here? And beautiful candy cherries. Caramel. Smells like toffee. Smells smells like rum cake almost. Has that kind of smell to it. Tastes like whiskey. Burn comes up from here. Delicious. Fantastic. And again, give a quick rinse. Man, the butter is right in there. No shit, you'd be able to taste the butter. The damnedest thing. You can really taste the fat, you can taste the dairy. And it just, it stops at the back of your tongue. It doesn't go up over the top of your mouth like a whiskey normally would. The, the alcohol is very subdued. That's crazy, the difference. Again, it's cloudy as all hell. You kind of expect there's going to be a difference. But that's nuts. Ah. Uh, the answer was going to, the next step was going to be, will it old fashioned? I'm not 100% sure it will. I don't know if it has enough boost old fashioned. But science is science and we're going to try. We've got our murder glass. We don't need that. We're going to put it in a mixing glass. Find one. Whoop. There we go. Mixing glass. Boom. Grab some ice. Pop that in. We are going to go with. Just under an ounce and a half. We're going to top that up just a touch. Just under two ounces there. Again, love a cool bottle. Stole this. That was a prepackaged old fashioned. That, oh, now it's this. That can go to the side. We might, hmm, we might add in some more bourbon to see if it needs it later on. I'm not sure. I, I got a feeling it's gonna go with a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Probably won't need it because it's already pretty darn sweet. As is tradition, one dash of Ango. And one dash of orange bitters. Boop. Give that a stir. And again, the purpose of this isn't really to have a drink right now. Get super excited to eat an orange later. Giving that a good stir, getting that diluted. It kind of needs it. It's pretty thick. I don't know if I should. I probably should have used a harsher bourbon. I think I should have used something that was up in the in the hundred proof range. I think it might have needed it. Oh well. We strain right over the ice ball from Timu. Temu. I don't know. I saw the commercials. They all say Temu now. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. It's Timu. Timu ice ball. There we go. Pump that over. Pop you back down there. Orange peel. Give that a spritz. A little nosy nose. Let's see. This is... I'm scared already. Oh, man. What? That's like legit just where there's now adding the sugar in. Holy smokes. That is a... That's just a hard toffee candy, man. I think I think we got to do. I think we got to add a little bit more to give it give it a little bit of kick. Add about a third of an ounce of straight bourbon in there. Give that a quick mix. See what we're doing. That's a little more like it. That mellows it out a touch. That's tasty, but holy smokes, that's candy. Wow, that's weird. Straight up hard old people candy. That's delicious, but holy crap. All right, we're, that's, that's about all I got. Um, real cool experiment. Don't super recommend doing it on your own, uh, for the bourbon anyway. 
I do super recommend doing it for the butter because the butter is fantastic. We made some chocolate chip cookies. That's so good. Made those tonight. They're fresh. That's warm still. Holy crap, that's good. Eating on camera. Talking on the mouthful. Mom's going to be super happy. Thanks for coming by. That was Whiskey Wednesday. As always, check it out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you all later. Cheers.